Welcome to this lesson on keyboard shortcuts. In this lesson, we're going to learn seven keyboard shortcuts. I'll show you where to find them. And the real difference only between the Windows and the Mac is on Windows, you're going to be using Control. On Mac, you're going to be using Command. But they accomplish the same thing. Let's begin. On the left side of my screen, I have a ChatGPT window. And on the right side of my screen, I have the keyboard shortcuts. So I'll be toggling between both of them so that we can see the keyboard shortcuts and how to use them. So first, where do you find keyboard shortcuts? In the lower right hand corner of your screen, there's a little uh, question mark. If you click on that question mark, it will bring out an option. And here, the very last option is keyboard shortcuts. It will bring up a little pop up where it will show those keyboard shortcuts. So let's start using them. So I'm in a chat right now. And the first one is opening a new chat, Command Shift O. So and you can think O for open. So I'm going to hit Command Shift O and it starts a brand new chat. It's very similar to clicking this button or this button to start a brand new chat. That is that one right there. Next one, focus chat input, Shift Escape. This is wherever you want. So at the end of the day, keyboard shortcuts, the more you could use a keyboard shortcut than using the mouse, the more you're going to 10x your productivity. That's really the key. So I highly recommend if you're on Mac or Windows, uh, I rest my pinky on shift and then my thumb on command. And it kind of stays there throughout the day. I don't really take it off much. And then my pointer finger is on the letter F as in Frick as in Frank. So that's where I really rest my hand there. So I could always enable some keyboard shortcuts on my left hand. Um, that will come into our productivity course when we get into Alfred. So a little sneak peek there. So uh, if I'm clicking somewhere else, you can see that the chat focus is not uh, enabled. There's no little uh, typing blinker. So to do that, we're going to hit shift escape. And now you can see the little blinker and now I'm ready to type. This is very similar if you do Command L. It takes you to the URL in Chrome where you can type www.blahblahblah.com. So that's a great way to quickly go to the focus window. So here, if I click in, I'm going to hit Shift Escape, boom. And then I hit Command A, select all. And Command A is like select all. And then I could delete, for example. And now I'm ready to just type a brand new chat. For the next example, copy last code block. What's a code block? This is an example of a code block right here. So it's a piece of code, HTML, JavaScript, Python, something like that, where you're right, having ChatGPT write a computer program. So to copy this to my clipboard history, I'm going to hit Command, Shift, and then colon. And you get a confirmation that says copied code block to, clip, to clipboard. Perfect. And if I go down and press Command V, I can paste it. And there's that entire code block. Great. In the next example, copy last response. So whatever your last chat response with ChatGPT is, it will copy this. So we're going to do Command Shift C. Command Shift C. You get a confirmation. Last response copy to clipboard. And if I practice with my Command V to paste, then I get that last code block. Perfect. Next one. Set custom instructions. Command Shift I. So if I'm here and I go Command Shift I, this is where you can find your customized ChatGPT instructions where you want to know how would you like ChatGPT to know more about you to provide better responses and how would you like ChatGPT to respond. You could also find this window if you go to the upper right hand corner, click Customize ChatGPT and you could get that window for example. Next one. Toggle sidebar, Command Shift S, S as in sidebar. So I'm going to go Command Shift S and press it again to bring it in and out, in and out. That's fun. <laughs> Next one, um, delete chat. So Command Shift Backspace. So if I click this one, I go Command Shift Backspace. It says, hey, do you want to delete this chat? This will delete this conversation. I'll click yes. And we see on the left hand side, it disappears. That's the same thing as going three little dots and clicking delete. That also accomplishes that, for example. Next one, show all shortcuts, command backslash. So I'm going to do command and then backslash. And now I can see all the keyboard shortcuts just in case I forget, for example. Easy reference. So now, and then just to remind, you can find those keyboard shortcuts in the bottom right hand corner, the little question mark, 
and you could click on keyboard shortcuts to see all of them there. Perfect. Now it's time for you to practice. Go and enable keyboard shortcuts using the question mark in the bottom right hand corner and then go and practice each one of them and then I would go through it three times. Uh, that way you get really good muscle memory uh, so that you could use them throughout the day to increase your productivity because remember always use keyboard shortcuts. Never use the mouse or if you can that's the that's a it's a such a huge productivity hack. So always try and reference if a tool whether it be ChatGPT or any other app use keyboard shortcuts. We'll go into advanced keyboard shortcuts when we get into the productivity course. I'm excited about that. So go ahead and practice. That's the end of this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.